Yes, but this is not an irrigation pipe. As many of you know, I've been involved with the HSMM mesh quite a bit, uh, done some presentations. This is what's currently up on my roof in addition to that test box that I have shown before. And I didn't feel like going up uh, this week and taking that down with the fear of being snow and I'd never get it back up there until spring. So this is uh, box is currently up on my roof and just wanted to show you a quick bit of what it takes to make this happen. So just a simple uh, box out of the big box stores. It's crammed, I will say that from the get-go. Uh, it's not my favorite, but to get the proper boxes I'm finding out are pretty pricey, you know, $60 up, nothing like what you spend on this, so uh, making some compromises here. Uh, it would be possible to take that cord uh, out of the Linksys, which is what I did on my test antenna, but I was able to get this in. Nice thing about it is it has uh, a, uh, 110 power here, so I was able to plug in a pair of 12 volt wall warts <coughs> inside the box. This is a uh, 100 milliamp amplifier with some uh, real hairy plumbing here in order to get it to work. And uh, that shows you on the inside. You'll see a screw in this upper left hand corner here, which is partially uh, the uh, mount to the antenna itself. I didn't get a great shot of that. It's just a closer picture there. And uh, you have to get the glance to add to the box, but it, it worked out well where this is the one end coming up the wall warts, and then the antenna comes through here on a gland as well. And uh, everything uh, fit pretty well on that. Just another view of it. And there it is uh, in location. This is a temporary setup uh, on here. But what I've done is I took an extension cord running down. You know, I'm running what? Uh, you know, a couple of watts through that. Yeah, not a lot. So I, I don't have a lot of fear there running the power cord down uh, to an outlet. And then I literally just put this in a baggie to interface the uh, power cord to the cord running into the... Gerald, I still can't figure out why the heck you won't cut a hole in the roof and look for the power. <laughs> because his wife won't let him. As to do what? As a matter of fact, you know, when I... When I get to the, well, as many of you know, I've got a uh, location that gets me 10 feet higher than this. And so I don't have to worry about it. I do have a weather head on the roof that I could cram another one into when the time comes. This was a quick and dirty get on the air without fuss or bother. I'm tired of being a roof rap, uh, raptor rat. It's getting harder and harder to find up here. You think? Yeah. <laughs> Just another uh, view of it, uh, showing orientation. Nice, nice shot there. And then this is my uh, uh, VHF, UHF uh, uh, J pole uh, arrow, and that's what you hear me on on next. Trying to shoot that through yeah, there. How come yours is the only presentation that's drawing? Because I'm an artist. <laughs> okay, that's my presentation under the five minutes. Gerald, how come you didn't use 12 volts? Why did you do 110? Because my link says runs off 12 volts. Well, so does mine. The uh, reason why is I opted to take the 110 volt from my basement uh, to the to the tripod. Right. No loss. Try to do that with 12 volt, I'd have to shove at least probably 18 volts 18. to get 12 up there. Okay, all right. And so it was just easy. I had the power cord in hand. Uh, I have it through the wall. You know, it was just real easy to do. Okay, I just thought I'd ask that question. Yeah, 
and the fact that the uh, order box has that plug-in in there, and I was able to put both those wall words in there. And what orientation is your antenna pointed towards? Yeah. Right now, it's pointed towards Tim Seeley. That was the name I was trying to remember. Um, but I'm not sure. One thing I found out with that antenna is you got a total six degree beam width on that. That's pretty narrow. And he's only about uh, uh, four and a quarter miles away from me. So I don't know if I've got him in my beam or, or if he's orientated to me. I was hoping to see him here today to discuss that with him. How are you getting the signal from here down to your basement? Just, I have another uh, uh, node at my computer. Wireless. So you do it wireless. Yes, the that's the way. Is it uh, splattering over to get down? To yes, the I mean, you know, the whole, you know, there's a field all the way around it. It's just that it focuses the majority of it this way, but there's still a field all the way. And I'm only about, uh, well, maximum, if I'm doing it from the family room experimenting, you know, 15 feet or something like if that. that. Yes, if that. So, and I'm in my office, I'm even closer. I'm, I'm within, uh, uh, you know, about uh, 10 feet. So, I just uh, depend on, and I get good connection. I have no problem with that. It works out great. Saves me having to run additional lines and stuff until I'm ready to, to uh, go further with this. Uh, remind you again, I also have my test node up there right now on that same pole above the mesh, or I mean above the dish, and uh, it's an Omni, about a 12 dB Omni on there, and it's it's being powered off of that cord. Stop well. talking, I'm bored. <laughs> this is the QA part. <laughs>